Hello everyone, welcome back to 50 Something Budgets. I hope you are all well and organised for Christmas if you celebrate. Not long to go now. Today's video I'm going to take you through week three's budget and see how we did against that. It's not pretty. Um, and then I'm going to cash stuff this money, um, which is for the fourth and final week of December. Okay, so let's have a look first of all at the budget. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the figures. Here we go. So we rolled over £3,442, which included the savings that we were using to pay off the uh, money we spent on the credit card. Uh, didn't earn anything. I have actually got paid today, which is Friday. Um, but I've just I've included that in to uh, next sort of December's, not December's, January's budget just to keep things nice and clean uh other income there is 59.50 so that's actually 30 pounds that's come through from my dad for my um son's christmas and then 29.50 was a refund um of a lovely knitted dress that fit me beautifully on the top half and was baggy like a sack on the bottom from tesco so that's gone back and then we used 123.50 which was some of our money from sinking funds um and also some of my spending money as well so we had exactly £3,625 in the budget. Two bills came out, which was our Virgin TV broadband and landline. Um, I won't be paying £57.27 going forward. It's just that um, I negotiated a new contract and they couldn't catch it in time. Um, so I'll be paying that this month and then I'll pay 28 in January and then it'll be 42 going forward from uh, February. Um, Apple was Apple Music, which is sixteen ninety nine, and then um, I signed up to Patreon for a book club, and I also bought a ticket for um, an event. Um, I don't know if I know we have a manifestation budgets whose videos I watch, um, but I'm also uh, quite interested in manifestation and the law of attraction um and what have you um so that will be about goal setting for 2024 um health was 10 30 so that was a couple of over the counter medicines for my husband who uh, not only has been struck down by extremely bad cold uh this week has ended up with tendonitis at the end of the week and uh, some stuff for my son as well um and then medical is 12 pound which was a spare pair of reading glasses for me because the one I bought a couple of months ago, the screw at the side is about to come out. And I thought, I can't do without reading glasses over Christmas. So I bought myself a spare pair. They were from Tesco's at £12. So it's 141.89 in that section, leaves me £3,483.11. Um, so Christmas was 88.55. That was some money I'd given to my son to buy me and my husband a gift and his grandparents presents as well as a couple of cards and then a couple of other little bits um, to finish off. The £65 was for my um, clean. So I had the five hours uh, cleaning yesterday, which included my oven. And goodness me, has it taken the stress off getting ready for Christmas. So all of my floors have been clean, my kitchen, um, two bathrooms, um, all of our reception rooms, all I need to do is um, the utility room and the downstairs loo, which I've quickly done this morning, and mop my conservatory floor. And that's it. So um, I am super happy with that. It was well worth the £65. Um, I spent 59 18 on the dog. So that was a sack of food for him. Uh, from a supermarket just to put him on because I haven't done his Amazon order and I've finally bought him the Muck Daddy. Um, but it's not been too bad the last couple of days, so I haven't needed it, but it's we will be needing it, I'm sure, soon. Um, and then clothes was £18, so I bought a, like um, a furry pyjama hoodie thing for my son because um, he doesn't really wear pyjama sets. He wears pyjama bottoms and I've got him some of those for his Christmas Eve box. Um but he found this lovely furry teddy bear top thing in um, Tesco's. So that's what we got for him. Um, so £230.73 from those sinking funds left me £3,252.38. Now, I haven't paid the credit card off yet because um, 
I don't think there's a payment due this month. I mean, I'm going to pay it anyway. But when I went to pay it off earlier in the week, all I could pay was the balance from the statement and £100, which was 100 quid. So because the previous statement it was the balance was zero. So I'm trying to wait until I can actually pay it off. Um, so I haven't paid anything off it as yet. So I've still got the 3,252.38. Into sinking funds, I put £20 into medical. I put £40 into haircuts. Um, £30 into my birthday, which was a total of £90. So I'm now down to 3,162.38. Food and beer absolutely blew the budget out of the water. Um and I have come to realise that I seriously underestimate how much we spend on food in December. We have been um, not so great the last couple of weeks. We haven't really stuck to a proper meal plan. Um, our, you know, we have my mum and my stepdad here over Christmas for about five days. So that bumps everything up. And I haven't bought any. I think I've bought two bottles of red wine. Um, and that is all I've bought on alcohol. Um, we have bought our body weight in cheese because I'm going to do a charcuterie board for New Year. Um, and I also kind of like to, to buy enough food in this week. That means I don't need to food shop until the New Year. I just do not like to go food shopping any time over Christmas. Um, I do have a very small list of bits I still need to get. Because some of the dates, like on the cream um, that I need for my pavlova, weren't long enough. Um and I needed some fresh I need some fresh chicken. Um, what else did I need? I needed some um berries again for the pavlova, so a couple of last minute bits, which I'll get at the weekend. So I had budgeted 260, but we spent 365.52. I think half of that was cheese. Um I spent 1362 in household and 540 in toiletries. I spent £10.60 in Etsy. Now it was funny, I have got absolutely loads. Of happy mail to show you if you can see there there's four there i've also got another two on the other desk um which is all linked to my goals for next year and my binder setup and i meant to record that video this week but we just haven't had chance um so i am going to do that one and that will be posted um probably about the 27th of december because my husband go i take my mum back home that day and then my husband's at work so i'll be recording it then um but i'd seen um one that i wanted for me on instagram um and of course i went on the site ordered that one and ordered about four but when this one came which is from um lazy flamingo design my husband was on the drive and the postman handed it to him and he was like oh is it a christmas present so i was saying oh no it's for you know it's some happy mail it's some of my savings challenges and things for next year I said I was really good. I saved up 40 quid and I've spent it all on savings challenges. And he must have been thinking about it because later on he said, you should be paying for those on yourself. And I said, well, yeah, but I don't need savings challenges. It really does encourage me and motivate me to save. And, and you know, um, but he says, no, from now on, that has to come out of our budget. So um, that's why that £10.60 there is for the four savings uh, trackers that I've just bought from uh, Kimberly Budgets, that one was. Uh, 75 pence was on miscellaneous, I haven't got a clue what that was. Um, 20 pounds was on school meals. My son is tending to have breakfast a couple of days a week at school and that's just pushing the cost up a bit. And then yesterday he didn't have any lunch. They've been to the cinema and had some sweets and he didn't fancy any lunch. So there is a bit left on there for January. Uh, 55.50 was on eating out. So uh, we had chippy tea one night because our meals are all over the place. Um, and we went out on Saturday and we had lunch. So instead of going out for breakfast, we actually went out and had lunch. Um, and it was really nice. The portions were quite small. It was a bit like organised chaos in the cafe. Um, but the food was actually lovely. Um, and then I spent £4.95 um, on my son. And that was his um, sweets and things I got him for the cinema that he went to with school. So there was 476.34 spent in those categories which left me £2,686.04p. Uh, £2, so I've put tenner into planner, £20 into winter, £20 into the gonks. Um, £9.5 was transferred from my current account. That was the last three digits of my current account. 
on Thursday evening, which is when my budget ends, which has been transferred into my full and final account on Starling. Um, I've got £10 in coins to go to the Passport Challenge. Um, I put £10 in rainy day and I've got four seventy nine to feed Pammy the Penny Pot. So that's a total of eighty three eighty four to challenges. Uh, now, the sheet says I've got 2,602.20 and I've gone wrong somewhere because I've actually got exactly £2,613. So it's £10.80 in my favour, um, which I think is probably, as usual, I've gone wrong somewhere with the to and and fro in of um, sinking funds. But I'm not going to get bent out of shape of it because when you think about that as a as a percentage of how much has actually gone through the budget, I'm uh, happy to deal with that amount of t tolerance um, for the errors. So there we go. That's that one. Um, so we'll have a look what's left in my um, wallet, deal with the change and what have you, and then we'll cash stuff for next week. Okay, so let me get my purse and zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, did you hear that then? That was my tummy rumbling. It's about that time of day. So as you can see, absolutely not a sausage left in food. Um, I've got £6 in household, but I'm just going to carry that over till the end of the month. I've got £14 left in toiletries. And again, I'm going to roll that over. Um, I've got £55 in eating out plus the £50 contribution from work. So that gives me 105 Now we are having fish and chips tomorrow from our favourite award-winning gluten-free fish and chip shop. Um, and then we are out on Christmas Eve for a meal um, just at the Little Italians in our village. So I think there's enough money there to cover all of that. Uh, nothing in rollover. Still got um, the £18 in there for the income that I made from selling some books. I do have another £140 income to add to that one. And then there's nothing in coins and there's just a bit of back to bank. So um, nothing in there to deal with. Everything has been done. Uh, I did only spend 75 pence out of miscellaneous. But because I have, we used that money for Etsy, I've just taken the whole fiver out of there. Okay, so I should have 14 89 is it in here so i've got two three four five six seven eight nine ten pound in pound coins and i've got one two three pound twenty forty sixty eighty four pound twenty forty fifty sixty seventy five i think that's right wasn't it twenty 40, 50, 60, 70, 9, it is 79, I can't blooming add up, okay, so all that's going to go in Pammy, um, so let's just have a look at how much is, oh goodness me, look at the blooming dust, I assume, as you can see, the uh, cleaner didn't do me office because I was in it, so I've got 67, oh, so that'll put me over 70 quid when I feed Pammy that, she needed a feed, she didn't get anything last week, so I'm just going to put that over there, um, because we don't want actually, I'll put it back in a little jar. I won't feed her now because it'll take a little while. And it's a bit noisy. Um, but the ten pound is going into passport. Where have I done? What have I done with my pens? Oh, heck, I've left them over there again. Two seconds. I'm blind as a blooming bat. There are you. Okay, so passport is getting ten pound. So. Ten pound in that one, so I've now got ten, twenty, thirty, forty. No, I haven't. I've got ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, forty-six pound in there. That's added up quite quickly. That passport challenge. Put that one back where the rest of them are. Move Pammy. Okay, so and that ten pound goes into this little tin. So there's enough in there now to actually pay for my son's passport, but we'll just keep going till we've finished it, and then um, I'll just put the rest towards our Italy holiday. Okay, so I'm going to cash stuff now for next week, which is the last week of December. So I should have two hundred pounds. 
So I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. I seem to have cashed up an awful lot this month. Each week seems to have been quite big, like bigger than normal, but I suppose it is December, isn't it? And we do have uh, more things going out. Right, what have I done with my little cheat sheet? God knows. There it is. Okay. So back to the Safiano. So I'm not actually going to put anything in food. So I do have a few bits left to buy um, just for my mum's visit. And um, I'm just going to pay for it on my card. So um, I'm not putting anything in there. So household is getting 10. So I've now got 10, 15, 16 pound in household. And then I'm going to put another 10 in toiletries. Oops. So toiletries has 20 to 4. I haven't uh, spent much in that one. Uh, miscellaneous is getting its usual five pounds. Um, eating out's not getting anything added to it. And then there's nothing to go in any of the other ones. So that is my weekly spending in that one. And then we're going to move on to the sinking funds. So let's do annual first. Okay, so it's subscriptions this week, which is here at the back. So I'm going to put £20 in subscriptions. So I've now got 20, 40, 60, and that is to pay for the two um, green bins that we have for our garden waste in January. Um, that's due at the end of Jan. And then after that, I only have two small subscriptions. I think I've got, where have I written them down? I've got um, 35 due in August and then I've got 40 due in October um, because I think we've decided we're not going to renew our National Trust membership this year. We've not used it very much since we did it in August. Um, and I think that now my son's older, our dog's big and when he goes, he needs a run. Um, and National Trust, you have to keep your dogs on leads. So as much as it is an organisation that I support, I don't feel it's something we're going to get the benefit of. Um, so we were not going to be renewing it that in August. So from then up, from now on, from January, I'm only going to put £10 a month into subscriptions, um, which means I can actually start to put more into clothes, which is the one that I've neglected um, all of the time. Um, so I'm going to put £20 in this week into clothes to start that one off again. We've all just had clothes, so um, we shouldn't need anything. And it's really for work stuff and for my son more than us. We tend to buy our own clothes out of our own spending money. So we're going to do trips and travel. So um, ooh, I'll put you till he's open there. Let's close that up. So I'm just going to put £10 into girls' trip this time around. So we'll do um, this £10 here. Okay. And that's just so I can round it up to a nice £100. Um, it does need a bit of love and attention. This savings challenge. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, £100 in girls' trip now. There we go. That's that one done. Nothing else in there. And then we're going to move on to variable. Okay, so I was going to put £40 into haircuts because I normally put £100 in it. But I'm so far ahead, really. I mean, I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 83 in there. That's nearly going to pay for my haircut in January. So I thought I would rather put it into pets because it does need some more food. Um... And he's only got seven quid in there. So if I put the 14, he's got 20, 40, 45, 47. And that will get him two sacks of food, um, which will last probably a good 12 weeks or so. Okay, because he will be getting Christmas dinner on Christmas Day. Okay, uh, anything else in this one? No, nothing in there. We're on to birthdays and occasions. So Mother's Day and Father's Day. Uh, oh no, that's my husband's birthday. Mother's Day and Father's Day are getting ten pounds. Now I've done something a bit different. Um, 
I've reduced the budgets on these. So if you remember, these were £10 each and I was going to save £120 um, and I'm not. I'm actually going to reduce it down to 60 And then if we do want to do a meal or something, we do it out of our um, entertainment and eating out budget. So I'm going to put £10 in. So I've got 10 20 30 40 I'm going to put a tenner in, which is going to do these two at the bottom. So, I mean, that was 120. It was a lot more than I've ever budgeted before for um, Father's Day, Mother's Day. And the thing that we've got is my husband's bonus is different this quarter, um, which means it's we're probably going to get less. He's probably going to get paid less at the end of this month. Um, so I just want to keep some of our budget's a bit lower and I think that's enough isn't it 60 quid it's in fact it is more than we would normally spend um on a gift so it'll be enough it will be more than enough it's only supposed to be a token so I haven't put the money in have I so 10 20 30 40 50 pound I should have in there now so I've got 10 20 30 40 50 in mother's day My poor husband, he's been ill all week with a really bad cold and then his hand started swelling up um, and he's had to take himself off to um, the walk-in centre and he's got a really bad case of tendonitis. Um, so he's absolutely struggling. I think if he had any staff in this close to Christmas, um, he would have actually been off because he's in an awful lot of pain. Um, bless him. He does work hard. Uh, let's do a blue colour. Oh, look, I've got two that match. Two that match on there. So I should have 30 in here now. So I've got 10, 20, 30 pound in Father's Day. There we go. That's them ones done. And then we're on to savings challenges. Okay, so the first one, as usual, is the planner challenge. So I'll put the binder up there and we'll get the end of my planner. Okay, so I am putting in uh, £20 into this one, which will finish this challenge off. There we go, 5, 10, 20. And that's my last one of those. In that lovely binder, I did see Zoe at the Candy Tally do a side-by-side -side, um, flip through of the 2024 Scotch Highlander planner. And I'm like, oh, should I have got that one? So we shall see. So I've got 20, 40, 50 in there now. So that is that finished. And that is the last one on the back to cross off. And I've saved that £50 challenge every month in 2023 which is fabulous um and then i'm also going to finish the gonks challenge because this is my last stuffing before um we move on to january's budget so we'll color the gonks in and this challenge was a freebie that i got with the planner last year from jules at the scottish highlander little cuties so we'll put 20 pounds in that one and I've got 20, 40, 60, no I haven't, I'm putting 40 quid in. What am I doing? I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 pounds in there. Okay, so I think when I come to do my how much have we spent and saved, I'm probably going to redistribute that. I've actually got, um, well, I might do it when I do my extra income stuff in at the end of the month because I'm waiting for some of the money to come through that I've got, which is a, a refund I wasn't expecting and it's quite big. So I might do it all at the same time. Nothing into winter. And then the only other one that I'm doing um, is my rainy day. Is it in here? Have I moved it into here? Yes, I have. So this rainy day is to rebuild my buffer that we used when we um, bought some clothes at Christmas. I'll say they weren't for Christmas. We just bought them at Christmas. Um, and I haven't got a normal pen. Here we go. Uh, so I'm just putting another fiver in there. 
I always get confused by this one. It's got a green lid and it's actually pink. So have I got a darker colour? We'll do brown. So have we got a fiver? Yes, we have. There. So I have in the buffer now 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. And that was a freebie from uh, Beauty and Budgets, whose um, placeholders I use. So there we go. I just had to cut it down. It's a Beauty and Budgets at the bottom. But I had to cut it down just so it would slide in, in and out of an envelope easily. There we go. So we are all cash stuffed for the remainder of 2023. Um, as I mentioned before, I will be posting a video with a, a really quick recap of my 2023 goals. Um, I will be explaining to you my goals for 2024 and taking you through my binder setup and how I'm going to go about achieving those goals. So I'm hopefully going to post that on the 27th for you. Um, so do take care. Have a wonderful Christmas or a wonderful break and time with your family. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you all again soon. Bye bye.